Hello and welcome to Craftiosity, the subscription box of modern craft kits. This month we're taking inspiration from handwriting, from quickly jotted notes to old fashioned letters. There's something special about handwriting that words on a screen just don't compete with. But there's no ink in sight. Intrigued? Let's show you this month's kit. We're making a drawstring bag using two different processes. First, creating a sparkling blue hand silhouette using iron-on foil, then adding stitch details to create your own sewn envelope. Inside your kit, you'll find your drawstring bag, iron-on foil and template, a white pencil, sewing threads and a needle. Have a look at the glittery iron-on foil. You'll see that one side is sparkly, that's the front, and the back is quite matte. Before you cut the foil, roughly cut out the hand template from the piece of paper so it's easier to handle. Place the hand on top of the back, that's the matte side of the foil, then cut out along the outside line of the hand. Keep a firm hold of the template to the foil so it doesn't shift while you're cutting. Still holding the template and foil together, we'll now cut out some of the internal lines of the template, starting with the back of the thumb. Cut along the line of the illustration, then cut along the two small lines for the creases in the hand. Remove the template, then cut out along those same lines again about 1 to 2 millimetres away so you're creating a gap between the pieces of the foil. Tease out the thin slithers, then cut them off neatly at the bottom of each line. Check the gaps and make them a little larger if they're too small. Bring the template back in and cut down the line in front of the thumb to create a thin gap here too. Cut the three fingers out as one unit from the main hand piece. Then cut them down into individual pieces, cutting out thin slivers between them as you go. Once they're cut out, align the hand and the three fingers to check you're happy with how they look. If you need to remove any little pieces to create wider gaps, do this now. Remove the thumb tip from the main piece. If you're creating our envelope design, you won't need this thumb tip and can discard it now but it's still there if you want to have the hand to hold a flower, a pencil or something else of your own design. Iron the bag so it's crease free, then iron the area you'll place the hand for 30 seconds. Place the hand and curled fingers onto the bag shiny side up so the wrist is lined up with the bottom of the bag and over to the left side. Iron on top of the hand and fingers with the iron on the one dot setting with no water for 15 to 30 seconds. If any little sections move during ironing, pop them to one side, then iron them on once the main part is attached. Test the edges to check the hand is fully attached. There's a thin layer of clear plastic on top of your hand foil. Peel this away now and do it for all the separate pieces. To stitch the envelope, place a real envelope in the position that your sewn envelope will go and draw around with the white pencil. You can also use a ruler if you don't have an envelope easily to hand. Choose one of the colours of embroidery thread and cut off a piece around one metre in length. Thread your needle, use all six strands and put a knot in the other end. We'll start sewing where the hand holds the envelope in place. Use backstitch to sew around the outside of the envelope following your white lengths. Bring your needle up through the fabric one centimetre along, then back down at the start. Then sew up again one centimetre long from your previous stitch and back down through the previous hole to connect the stitches together. Keep sewing in this way. As you go along, straighten your stitches to make sure they're not pulling too tight and tugging your fabric. When you get to the end, bring the needle through to the back and turn the fabric over. Sew the needle through the existing threads on the back to create a loop then sew through the loop and tighten to tie a knot. Repeat and trim your thread. To sew the stamp and the writing on the envelope, first thread your needle with a different colour of thread, use all six strands and tie a knot in the other end. Use a white pencil to draw a rectangle where the stamp will be and sew around the rectangle with backstitch as you did before. To create the nibbles around the edge of the stamp, we'll use lines of scallop stitch. These will be spaced about 3mm outside the existing stamp rectangle. Use three strands of thread for these. Bring the needle up and back down where you'd like the scallop to be, leaving a slight loop above the fabric. 
Then bring the needle back up through your fabric by the inner stamp rectangle, through your loop and sew back down through the same hole. This will create the indented nibbles. Keep creating these stitches all the way around the outside of the stamp. To create the figurehead on the stamp, use back stitch with three strands and follow the illustration shown. Stitch an angled line for the base of the crown, stitch scallop stitches to create more nibbles for the peaks of the crown, then join them together with straight stitches on either side of the crown. Stitch a curved arc on the top of the crown for the head. For the face, stitch one stitch down from underneath the crown, one stitch out to the right for the nose, then another stitch back for the underside of the nose. Stitch another stitch straight down for the mouth. Then stitch one stitch further back and left for the underside of the chin, one stitch down for the neck, then a longer stitch down and to the right for the top of the chest. Sew a small row of back stitch across the bottom. Stitch two stitches up and to the right for the indent of the neck, then a final stitch up and left to bring you to the underside of the crown. For the squiggly writing, use a white pencil to draw on some lines of rough text. Choose another colour of thread and stitch on the text using the full six strands of embroidery thread. Give your bag another iron to take out the creases created while sewing. And well done, your bag is complete. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, subscribe to our channel or head on over to craftyosity.co.uk and join our newsletter for regular creative inspiration.